So you'd like me to talk a little bit about integrated weed management, especially as it relates to the future. So we know uh, there are many facets or aspects to integrated weed management, including crop rotation, including which crop you plant based on the weed problem that you have and the tools that are available in a certain crop. And we know that uh, genetic engineering has been used to develop new technology that years ago we would have thought would not be possible, whether it's Roundup Ready, whether it's Liberty Link, whether it's uh, Dicamba and 2,4-D resistance. I think one of the uh, things that has impeded uh, integrated weed management over the years has been sort of the economy or the economics of farming. The price of wheat, the price of corn, soybeans, uh, a lot of farmers are constrained economically in what they can actually do. Uh, I believe in the long term herbicides will remain a very important component or a very important tool for weed management in different ecosystems, whether they're irrigated, whether they're dry land, whether they're in the tropics and humid areas as opposed to temperate areas. But we have had limited success in actually eliminating weeds completely from the landscape where farmers grow crops. And so in the future, we may see more use of precision agriculture. We may see more use of drone technology. We may see more technology uh, assessing more precisely which weeds are present and how many are present. Uh, and so this whole area of artificial intelligence, drone technology, site-specific management will continue to I think, uh, increase in importance in integrated weed management, but I don't believe we're going to substitute all of that new technology for what we currently know and understand about herbicides for selective control of weeds. So for those of us that are interested in weed management, we have long-term employment pretty much guaranteed.